Good to be with you as we are back with Grizzly Connect, Bryant Johnson and A.J. Palmer chatting on a Saturday evening before Colorado Mesa comes to town. A.J., four-year starter, only one on the team, a lot of memories, a lot of moments over the past four years since you arrived in Alamosa. What's the top memory and the top moment that stands out throughout your career? Um, you know, throughout my career, I think it definitely has to be beating Carney our freshman year. When Mary got hurt, Megan Hawkins was also hurt. So I was thrown into the center position and we had to have a backup libero and we ended up beating Carney in 5-15-13. Now take me back to November 13th, 2008. It's, it's the day before the match at Kearney. You, know, you walk into the health and uh, fitness center, 1,500 people aren't there yet, but you know it's going to be sold out. And you find out and walk through that, that Megan's wrist just has not been able to heal. And Coach Mortensen is going to need you to step up as a freshman, as a setter, in the biggest match of the year in the quarterfinals. What was said in that conversation between you and Lindy during the walkthrough? Um, well, you know, it was basically just do your best. You know, she knew the position I was in. She knew I was really nervous. It was a big game. You know, Carney's a great competitor, and they're really good. So she knew I was nervous, but she knew that, um, like, if I just did my best, you know, it would be okay. And we ended up just coming out and having fun, going with the flow of the game. We ended up winning. AJ played for, for Coach Barrett at Rampart High School as a setter. That was a role that you – knew well and you had over 50 assists in that match uh, against Carney. but what type of thoughts were going through your head after playing as a libero the entire season quarterfinals now the place is sold out there's 1500 people watching this freshman step up against one of the best teams in the country what was the last thing you thought about before that first serve uh you know i was just thinking about play hard you know like coach said that was the best i could do uh to be honest i was kind of trying to remember um some footwork and everything from when I sat in high school and you know it's really easy because I'm always setting anyways so it wasn't too hard but I was definitely nervous um, I think more to take on the role of a setter rather than the actual setting again. I think a lot of people would find it questionable that you know I would ask a question about a specific memory that took place four years ago but it's obvious that it's fresh in your mind and it's something you'll never forget when, when you think back to that that moment after the quarterfinals and knowing that you were capable as a setter was there ever a point where you approach coach Mortensen about maybe switching from libero to setter was there a conversation in general in the offseason no um <laughs> you know that was a one-time thing you probably couldn't repeat that throughout a whole season but um, actually, that spring season, I did have to set for because Megan was still hurt. So I set pretty much the whole spring season um, rather than play libero. But I was fine with it. You know, coach just needed me to do it. So I just stepped up and did what I needed to do. Senior A.J. Palmer with the ASC volleyball program. Your reaction skills are pretty incredible on the floor. Does that translate off the floor? I mean, I'm talking. If you're about to get cut off on the freeway, if you know spoons dropping on the table, uh, what type of link is there between your ability to take a rocket kill right at your face and pass it perfectly to a teammate and have that reaction time off the floor? Uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say I'm too fast in reaction in actual life. I'm actually pretty clumsy. I'm a blonde, so um, I think you know digging and reaction time in volleyball just takes experience you know I'm used to it. I like the thrill the rush of it so. you were not that interested in ASC when you were looking at the school from afar now that happens to a lot of athletes that are being recruited you had Utah Boise State Mesa State at the time was coming after you hard your dad said AJ you know just just go check the school out was it that gentle of a conversation actually take me back to when your dad was pointing you in the direction of Adam State well you know I wasn't um uh, set on using an official visit here so I actually did come on an unofficial visit which was kind of dumb because I didn't end up visiting any other schools but um, my dad said you know just give it a try you have to test all the schools out and you never know and so I agreed and uh, so we came here and I just went home uh, that evening saying like dad you know this is right it feels right it's close to home I feel like the girls really include me as a family, and that's where I want to go. When you look at the accomplishments that you've reached over the course of your career, a lot of individual accomplishments and, and some very noticeable team-oriented accomplishments, but what's one thing that's missing? Um, 
You know, I think just having a successful year this season, you know, um, I think this year especially we have so much potential uh, with these teams. We have a lot of talent. Um, I don't know. I just think a successful season winning our division would top it off. So AJ Palmer with the ASC Volleyball Program, 7-4 and four on the season 1-2 and two in conference play, heading into the weekend matches at home, the final two, before you head on the road once again. Uh, what's your favorite, and I'm not going to say favorite teammate, but what's one of the most memorable teammates you've had that this really had a big impact on your career at ASC? Um, I'm not really sure. You know, that's a hard question to answer. I definitely loved playing with Andrea Tuck just because, you know, she put the ball down every time. It was pretty amazing. Darcy Jennings was a great leader. You know, I try to follow in her step, in her footsteps as a captain because I just think she led the team so well. Um, but then again, following Andrea is Dom, and I really love playing with her. She just goes all out, and, you know, that's the kind of team we want to be is a power volleyball team. We have nothing to lose, so we always swing away, go after everything. That's what we do. Very diplomatic. A.J. Palmer chatting with us on Grizzly Connect. You've had uh, a lot of opportunities to be – uh, involved in spring and off-season tournaments, and, and those are great because when you have so many new players uh, that are arriving on your team, it, it's kind of a laid-back, non-pressure-filled moment. A lot of stories take place, maybe some pranks along the way. What's your favorite prank that's happened over your career at Adam State? Uh, that would have to be um, this last year. It was April Fools, and um, I think we were in uh, New Mexico, maybe? You were at the Albuquerque Hilton Place. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was April Fool's, and we were trying to plan a prank for Coach all day, and none of it was working out. So finally we decided to have Megan Tapia, who was a freshman at the time, pretend that she stole a candy bar <laughs> from the little store they had, and she thought it was free. So she called Coach crying, and, you know, Coach was so understanding. She's like, I, I could understand how you thought those were free, but then you could tell she was like, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and so then we all popped out, and it was it was hilarious. Coach was really shocked, and she was laughing pretty hard, too. Coach has begged us not to give her the gullible title. She said it was one instance of great acting involved with her with her team. So obviously something that will stand in the minds and memories of, of your teammates, and hopefully there are plenty of memories left throughout the course of the year. AJ, thanks for chatting with us. All right, thanks for having me. Libero AJ Palmer with us on Grizzly.